Coach Beekner, you guys are on the wrong end of the, this loss today to uh, Kent State. But you know, uh, what do you guys take from something like this? You had a, a back in it, back up in it, 149 pounds. You fought real hard. Um, first off, where's Desi Green at? Well, Desi Green uh, hurt his knee um, at the last dual meet against Eastern Michigan, and he had to have a little surgery. So it's going to take him out for about two weeks, and then he's going to get back on the mats and he'll start training at that point. I expect him, the good athlete that he is, um, I expect him to recover fully and be ready by the MAC championships. And I know that he's, uh, he'll be ready. A lot of weights in your uh, your guys' conference this year. I'm looking at three and four guys that are ranked in the top 33. Yes. You guys had zero qualifiers two years ago, four last year. You know, what, are your, what are your expectations for the Buffalo Bulls this year? Well, our expectations are to be better every year. You know, we've had some, we've had a couple up and down years. This year so far has been up. Uh, I wouldn't say today was necessary enough, but uh, our guys are good guys. They train hard. They're good people, and we're really proud of their efforts up to this point. And we're just going to basically dust this one off and find out what we did wrong, and find a way to win those close matches that we lost today. I mean, the, the score was pretty pretty far out of whack, but you know, there's three or four weight classes there that were one by point, two in overtime. You know, it was it was a maybe a little harder fought match than uh, than the score indicates, but you can't lose those close matches and expect to win a good dual meet against Kent. You know, we lost all the close matches basically except for one, and there were a lot of close matches here. What do you say to someone who's a leader like Jimmy Hamill, who just really couldn't get anything going today and loses an overtime match to a freshman? Well, that's a, that's a tough way of saying it. I hope Jimmy hears that. I hope he hears exactly the way you put it right there. He didn't do enough to win. Um, he's uh, he's certainly one of our one of our favorite guys. You know he works really hard. He trains hard. He didn't do enough to win. And uh, if you don't do enough to win, you can't win. Um, hopefully he learns from it. Hopefully he gets out there the next time they meet, if they meet again this year. And hopefully he comes out on top. But uh, there's some things we can change and we can adjust to uh, that I think will, will give us a better shot later on. This year, like you said, has been a pretty much an up year for you guys. I mean, mm -hmm. you had a win over uh, uh, Nebraska at the National Duels, mm -hmm. really turning the program around from you know two years ago where no national qualifiers, four last year, to this year you could see up to five guys, Buffalo yeah. Bulls, at the uh, championship. What's the message going to be to the guys from now to March? Well, it's, it's going to be the same as what we started. You know, We had a goal of bringing five guys or more to the NCAA championships, and I think we can do that. Um, days like this have got to motivate you. And when you win and we do really well, that's got to be a motivator. Either way, you got to be motivated to win. And, uh, you know, our guys are going to be ready to come to the MAC championships. And I feel like, you know, the, their attitude and fighting spirit has been there pretty much the entire year through a pretty darn tough year that's been there. And it's going to be back. We'll have it back here very soon.